known as the first people to fly. You two are on the same page of this joke. I'm taking it seriously. This is a fact. <laughs> they're, uh, they're more right, than good friends. Right. It's like is it's it, not. Is it not? No. <laughs> what is it? Anecdotally, we have comments saying how many times you've been wrong. That's true. Mm -mm. Three, two, one. Welcome back to the Big West Podcast. Welcome, 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 welcome. Season five. It feels like I know that was last week's episode, but it feels like. This is like the f the first episode it's, back with the boys. Yeah, back back with the homies. You yeah, know? I know. We're 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 just in our element. You in know, our element. Let's Pinky go. boys peaked in season two. Changed my mind. <laughs> Pinky boys peaked in season two. Changed my mind. That would be so sad. <laughs> that, that would, would be suck sad. so much if that happened. The fall. It's, it, it, Piggy, Piggy the boys fall, jumped yeah. the shark in Pick, in season two. They jumped the shark. You know what that means? Jump the shark like uh, evil Knievel? No, no jump. Jump. It's the font. It's Fonzie. Oh jump. Jump. Jump the shark is like a. It's like a, a metaphor because essentially once Fonzie jumped a literal shark, people think that from then on the show got really bad. And so now it's like a, a, a saying people say for, for a t whenever a television show or whatever does something and the rest is bad, they jumped the shark. Yeah, I'd rather someone, if someone told me that and I was like, what, what, what are you talking about? I'd rather them just say you suck now. And it's like where the show should have ended. Yeah, yeah, it's where the show should I, And where I, it went like too far almost. Yeah, there, there's also an, another one. It's the f reverse of that, where they told it, where, where the show got better. But I forgot what that's called. Was that after the shark? No, no, no. It's it, landing in the shark tank. Yeah, getting eaten by yeah, the shark. Yeah, getting eaten by the shark. It usually happens when, you know, sometimes the first season of a show can be a little, like, yeah. uh, like for, I forgot, I still forget what it's called, but uh, a lot of people think, like, when Danny DeVito entered on Always Sunny, that's when the show like, came into its own, essentially, you know? Right. Because the first two seasons were a little rough. <laughs> I, and, I mean, no, nothing Always Sunny. I love Always Sunny. But I can't do the the... Like TV shows that are supposed to be on TV that look like they were filmed by a security camera. I can't do it. Which they were. They yeah they were, <laughs> and that's good for them for where they come. Also, you know, uh, Rob, what what's his last name? Rob McClaney. 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 didn't want Devito on it. Yeah. D didn't want him. It's like nope, doing it on our own. Now, Danny Devito, what a man. This is the, this is the Danny Devito tribute episode. Yeah. Of well, podcast. Speaking of Danny Devito, you can come on in now. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> That man would be, he's so short. Uh, the camera wouldn't. <laughs> Got <I> him. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> grilled him. Doesn't he's not him. the tallest. He's so short. What an idiot. Yeah, well, so how dare he be that. Danny's a height elitist. Yeah, I, Heightist? He's looking, he's looking, not to be, you know, sad, but he's looking a little old that's, on the new Sonny. Yeah, that's what we were just saying before. It's like a lot of, uh, our, at least our heroes and our parents' heroes, probably, how, long, how much longer they got? I'm not sure. Super, well, super short people and super tall people both. Don't live as long as the normal range. But I feel like basketball players, you know, they they, yeah, they say there, there's some stat that like every inch you you deviate from the median uh -huh. is like three years off your life or yeah. something. So what does it count for in the pants too? Yes. Yes. Oh well, that's Definitely. not not looking good for the boy. Yeah, I don't know why. I guess I, I it makes sense for taller people because it's like you pumping blood further. <laughs> That, that, yeah, that, I mean, yeah, that, that's, oh, yeah. it, the heart literally needs to pump harder to right. get it to all the things. Pump. But I don't understand why shorter people. I guess it pumps too much. Yeah, well, I mean, just a smaller heart, right? I don't think they. Do, I don't think they have a. Uh, isn't your heart Small proportional? People have bigger hearts. You can't. You can't reverse what you, how you <laughs> insulted short people before with a heartwarming sentiment. No, no, no. Um, I, I do. You know, I don't. I'm not. I don't dislike short people. But I, but I, but no, I do. Uh, no one claimed <laughs> this. No. There's a lot of project. No one claimed but this. I, but I do look down on them, literally. God of again. God damn, dude. Would you rather be three feet taller or three feet shorter? Ooh. Ooh. I, you gotta go taller, right? But it's yeah. still, I would not want to be a giant freak of nature. Nine feet, yeah. Nine feet. Oh, I, oh, oh so Miss Captain high. Six Mr. Foot. Six I forgot foot about that. You game. had to you say that. You just eight, had to flex. You guys, what, 8, 11 or something, or 8, 10? 8, 11 and a half. Yeah. I, I don't lie. But oh, three feet. Dude, at that height, though, like, your bones don't even work anymore. Yeah. I mean, if you fall over, it's like it's falling like, over on stilts, you know? <laughs> the guy who was, like, 8 foot 10, he, had, he needed, like, canes to go everywhere. He just, like... I mean, I mean, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you could probably do good in some kind of movie industry. Oh, circus for sure. Oh, the certain. No, I mean, you Dude, probably make more money. A, is that even a thing the anymore? Circus, like, is that a lucrative thing? The freak show. The circus is the disappearing. Freak show. Barn and Bailey and Barn and Bailey Clown College used to be harder to get into than Harvard. Now it's no no longer because Barnum and Bailey went under. And Harvard, a bunch of sellouts. I I I, I love I love the circus. I think the circus should make a comeback. 
Yeah, but what about all the animal rights people? What are you going to do? Animatronic animals? Well, no, dude. It I mean, have to be animals. Yeah, it doesn't have to be animals. First of all, so it's just going to be a bunch of clowns running around. And 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 yeah. and and you're you you were just on something. Now with new technology, oh. dude. I'm mean, dude. Imagine a, imagine a circus with like Boston Dynamic dogs. That'd be so cool. First of all, scary. That's that's where the uprising starts. It's when oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna make us kick us around, then put us in a fucking circus, bitch. We're taking over the human race. And then and then the clowns kind of you know they have more of a like a steampunky aesthetic. You know, too, because it's all about like you know these are the, f- the machines of era. the future. I hate that. Era. You don't like that. I hate steampunk. You don't like era. steampunk. It never it's... existed. Well, like it's a good like, point. Like, yeah, yeah, true. You, and you don't that's like, even more. Yeah, you don't like where we're going if if it happens. Well, I feel like steampunk's more like it's more like somehow in the past, but also somehow in the future. That's yeah. fair. Like like steam engine, steam this that, but they also have like like the Legend of Korra, Avatar. Mm. Yeah, it's 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 kind of like that like. A technology stopped advancing in like the industrial age. Yeah, and we use these machines now yeah, but for the, everything. But, but the complexity stood the same. It's like there are robot spiders oh, walking there's, around there's for also, some reason. There's also yeah. another thing called like it's like wind punk or wood punk or something, and it's like it's like the same concept, but if things stopped like when Leonardo da Vinci created his flying machine, so it's like all like weird yeah. flying contraptions, but made out of wood. Yeah, yeah, and, no metal, and feathers. Like yeah. what is like maybe papyrus. What was Da Vinci using? I don't know. He was sucking dicks. <laughs> That's fact. That's wait, the, what? That, he was gay? Yeah. Closeted? Not really. <laughs> well, not if we know. I guess I didn't meet him. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, it's pretty well documented. And you didn't get like beat up back then? No, I mean this. No, not this when is, you could draw like he did. This is this is just what history did. They just said they were very good friends. They were, oh, they were more right, than good friends. Right. It's like they were really close companions in their yeah, endeavors yeah, yeah. in the home life. Yeah. They lived together and they were very good friends. And they died together. <laughs> so I wonder what people back then thought. It's like, yeah, he's sucking his friend, but he could also make this flying machine. I don't know what my stance is on this guy, you know? I think I think back then they were like, if it, we'll just let him suck if he can fly. Yeah, if you can make, if you can make it, us yeah, fly, we'll put, let you suck. If you could put well, me in this I mean, guy, you can blow off a guy. To, that's true. You couldn't make anyone fly. Well, he made this like cool little toy that could fly. I feel like that's close enough. Not really. Didn't he didn't he make the paper airplane or something? He made that. That can glide at best. <laughs> All right. He, 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 That's true. So did the Wright brothers. The Wright brothers only really no, invented... No, the Wright brothers flew. No, didn't they invent falling with style, really? Ooh, they, they came off the ground. Yeah, but... That, so but they didn't go a, off a cliff and then glide down. They came off the ground. Uh, That's flying. What, they, with rubber They're, bands and tissue paper? It's like, I don't. I think they glid. I'm they pretty glued. sure they glided as well. Yeah, thank you, Danny. Uh, sure, as well, but the point is that they flew. So why can't Da Vinci's if you could machine come off the ground? You are flying for I sure. Think, I think they did what the Red Bull things yeah, did. They yeah, like yeah. went off a cliff and then found a way no, to no, fly. No, 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 no. They, they didn't propeller? go off a cliff. I mean, maybe it, at some point it was in an non, earlier experiment. It was a non-engine plane or propeller. Where are you going? They, they just, they just, well, they just be, they just be huge, flying, man. They, they just, I don't, I don't think they are the, notoriously on known as the first people to fly. Well, well one means- of their names was Orville, and he got upstaged <laughs> by a guy who makes fucking popcorn. Argu- so, he's, so, he's, so he's not that bad. He's not that good. That's a good point. Arguably the better invention. Disagree. Also, <laughs> I don't think Orville invented popcorn. Yeah, I well, think that- he's, he, you know. In my book, he invented popcorn. <laughs> my book is true. Well, he has, he has good popcorn. Uh, you guys ever use Jiffy Pop? The thing you just put right on the stove and... Yeah. I don't... I, mine's microwavable or movie theater only. Microwave bowl. You, you got to put a little seasoning in a microwave popcorn for me. Dude, I like dry popcorn. I don't like Ooh. butter or salt. Ooh. I like dry. Get it in my teeth. I'll lick it out later. Dry popcorn. Dry popcorn is like literally packing peanuts. So like why do you why do you like nah, it? I, actually, dry popcorn with some salt. Very good. No, no. Salt changes the whole the whole dynamic. I mean, you, you can't just popcorn. Psychopath. I mean, you go and you get unsalted popcorn. It's never unsalted. It's always it that's is. like that's like the freaks. I was I was at Stop and Shop the other day. You, you know they sell unfrosted pop tarts. Un- Excuse frosted. me. Yeah. So just excuse me. Just bland and some jam in it or something. Yeah. I I don't know if if A who, fig who's buying these. I don't know. Side note: Ever put pop tarts in the freezer and then eat them? Yes. Very good. Oh, very good. It's some like pe- thin mints in the freezer. True, uh, I don't like thin mints. But some people also, some people microwave the pop tarts. Not good. Don't like it. No, I mean I like a toasted pop tart. I get it. I'll make you a pop tart. Pop tarts overrated, honestly. That's, they, that's they fine. Are overrated. That's like, fine. There's too much. Uh, like, uh, come on. Too you much pop, the, not the, enough tart. The, the outer shell is is not even enjoyable. Dude, we're just trying to get past true. that to get that's to the true. creamy. Dude, I knew someone that would open it for lunch when we were in middle school. Eat around the edges, throw it away. 
Ugh. Throw no, it at you. That, that's that person. Are you crazy? That's the person you have to Kill? strike a deal with. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You they, eat, they'll I'll take the, do yeah, yeah. the. They'll do the the, the, the dirty the, work. The dirty work. Yeah. and then give you the best part. Right. All you have to do is like just get past their slobbering child spit. It's like I'll get to that juicy center, bitch. By the way, that's how I eat a sandwich. I I just realized this. I've been making peanut butter and ice cream sandwiches, which is so good with frosted flakes. It's it's so so good. It's like the peanut butter the and breakfast. and the milk all in, <laughs> all in one. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but all in one. And I realized that's how I eat a peanut butter and s- jelly sandwich. Is I. I eat around the crusts, and then I have the middle, which is, you know, undoubtedly the best bite, and I save that for last, and then I go. <laughs> All right. So you don't cut your sandwich? No, I'm not a child. Yeah, I don't. I, I can don't eat a sandwich. sandwich. I can eat a sandwich. It's it's not that big. Oh my god! What does that have to do with any? Cut your sandwich. But why? Cut your sandwich. It's easier to hold. Yeah, it's, it's easier to hold if you have little fifth grade fingers, and you, and and, you, and and your mommy cuts it. Yeah. it's it's a it's a piece of bread. It's not that big. You cut, can just eat it. This is psychopathic. Cut your damn sandwich. I'll cut a sandwich if I'm, a, if I'm eating if I'm eating a turkey club. You cut your sandwich because if you don't, It'll things will start to fall out. Yeah, but yeah. A peanut butter and jelly. This is a sandwich that is uh, practically adhesive. Peanut to butter it and together. ice cream, and ice cream melts. No, you eat it. For, you, you obviously don't understand the structure of peanut <laughs> butter and ice, ice cream, cream sandwich. sandwich. What? You never had an ice cream sandwich? Yeah, but that's, that's out of the freezer. That's not me fucking spreading warm peanut butter and then getting frozen, uh, I'm sure frostbitten ice cream and then trying to munch into it. I don't know why you think my peanut butter is warm. It's incredibly room temperature. I feel like, a, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I feel like a lot, yeah, people don't really put it in the fridge. No, is that true? why would no, you put no, peanut no. butter in the fridge? You're not supposed to put peanut butter in the fridge. No, you def- I definitely do after I open it. What? Why? You don't have to. I don't know. Just yeah, I guess not. I don't know. Just do it. Nut what? It's nut butter. There's many types of there's walnut butter, there's almond butter. Yeah, we don't talk about those fancy butters in here. Well, yeah, but then you know How re- long does it last? I think it lasts like a long time. That is someone who has eaten expired peanut butter. Yeah. If I've ever heard expired of myself. Expired peanut butter. You said, unless I think uh, you're, a you're long not putting time. It in the fridge. No, technically, you don't have to put eggs in the fridge. You guys both do it. That is true. Yeah, well, I don't want anything hatching. That is true. They have. It. I don't want anything hatching in my cupboard. They have egg. They have egg. Um, like you know how you have a bread box. Yeah. They have egg boxes in like Europe and shit. Yeah. And it won't hatch without the chicken cum. You need the chicken cum for it to hatch. What the fuck does that mean? It's like an egg and an, and a sperm. It's got to be fertilized. Stop that. I swear to God. Wait, what are you... T- egg won't hatch unless it's fertilized. The eggs in your fridge will never hatch. They're not fertilized. No, you're- that's because they're not incubated. No, you're... No, re- no, no, no. Even if you incubate wait, it, they, wait, they, wait, they wait, haven't wait. been come on yet, dude. They need a chicken to come all over the eggs. You're, you're eating scrambled ovaries. You, you two are on the same page of this joke? I'm taking it seriously. This is a fact. I'm taking it very Absolutely seriously right you, now. You buy eggs from the grocery store, you can incubate them all you want, sit on them, put them up your butt, they're never going to hatch. Well, that's because... They need to be come on, dude. Honestly, I believe you because I tr- I tested it once when I was a kid and I put an egg in the cupboard and my parents said no, no, no chucking, clucking. Oh. Speaking of egg mm, things, I, I I've I, Thank I, you. I saw a, a, this this machine that makes a, a it's called the golden egg. It basically you put it in this like wire contraption and you go and it scrambles the egg on the inside and then you hard boil it and you have a perfect like golden. Hard boiled egg. Ooh. I thought that was pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I want to get. How much was it? I don't know. It was like an ass. It was like a Billy Mays like I seen on. That TV is really thing. cool. But hard boiled eggs not that good. It smell like farts too. Hard they are not that good. Dude, I love egg salad sandwiches. I would never be the guy that brought it to any function that's not my closet and just eat Why it in there by farts? myself. Because eggs smell like farts. Because mm-hmm. you know they come out of a chicken's ass, so <laughs> it only natural for them. They to come smell. out the pussy. This, now you just now you just they come out of a shit. chicken's pussy. No, bro. it's come. They come out of their ass. Mm. You have to wipe shit How off. They, them. Bro, it is what it is. It is what it is. How not, would they come out of a? Where do babies come from? Out of your butt. It's the same thing. That's JT. true. Thank you. See, got them. No, mean, really, they, they come they out can of their ass. Blend into one. You know, if you your butt and your pussy. That is, I've seen videos giving birth. You talking about <laughs> cuts right through the middle? I mean, dude, 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 dude. See, the, what, what girls need to understand is that, or what guys need to understand that that. I say, what are you about to tell women that they don't understand already? <laughs> no, no, not that. It's like, dude, or guys need to understand it. All right, I'll change my answer. We have a gooch, right? We have a decent amount of space between our mm-hmm. butthole and our balls. Girls don't. Dude, you'd be lucky if you can measure it with a ruler. Yeah. You mm-hmm. just can't do it. Yeah, because so, our taints are very long. Very long very and elongated. sweaty and hairy. 
But theirs yeah, is okay. just like... Oh, it's not? No, I'm just like... No, I'm just... Oh, sorry for the vivid description. I was trying to paint the picture for the audio listeners. But <laughs> this this big. And in birth, that could go away. Yeah. And that's terrifying. Yeah. Split right right to the right to the center. But then what happens? They give the uh, stitch it back up. Oh, well, well. I mean, they can't just leave it like that. I I mean, I guess so, but uh, if it's so li- if it's so little, how do you stitch something so precise? I'm not a I'm not a doctor or a sculptor. Nanotechnology. Nanotech, Nanotech throw it in there. Huh. You know a chicken lays an egg every day? That's a lot. It's, well, it's like how you poop every day. That's why they keep them around, um, you know. What? That's why they keep them around. Oh, yeah, a, that's a good point. If you get a new breakfast every day. Yo, dude, imagine if chickens laid an egg every couple months. I thought it would be like once a week or something. So, what well, we need like a billion chickens to. You, yeah. could, you could get 20, you could get 48 pack of eggs at, at BJ's. Yeah, for like five bucks. For like five <laughs> bucks. So, th- these chickens would be pumped. You would need so many crazy. chickens. Speaking of chicken, I just saw a thing that said that if you have eaten. Chicken from like all any of the major chicken brands, you are entitled to like uh, some money. I saw that too, and Tyson was on it. I've definitely eaten Tyson chicken. Yeah, in the past years because they 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 were accused of uh, consp- co conspirating to ra- raise the price of chicken, you know, unjustly. Oh, the fucking monopoly on chicken, but together. Yeah. <clears throat> Really? Is that it? Oh, I, dude. Oh, oh, I'm happy with that. I thought it was. So go go get your chicken money. Yeah, go get your chicken money, baby. Go get your funny chicken money. I thought it was because they were injecting it with shit, and I was gonna have problems later. No, no, I no. I don't care about the money. Oh, dude, that scared me. It's because they were raising the price. I forgot what the website is. Go get your chicken money. I'll, I'll look at the website. JT right now. is definitely a Tyson boy. Oh yeah. You you've been getting but scammed also, for years. They also that happened. That that's the reason that light bulbs don't last forever. Apparently, I just watched a whole video on it. It's like the, all the people who made light bulbs. Uh, Edison conspired to uh make it so that they only last like whatever it is like seven years maximum you know they could last forever so what so a, that you keep buying more but what about big led that came and changed the whole game and like they did i'm sure the first five led like patents were killed bam yeah. dead bam dead same how like water engine car. overcharged for chicken.com overcharged for chicken.com. don't get your money very what, what, very what on the get? nose get, like, by the bucks? way you probably get like yeah but 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 it's the fact that they need to pay out like 180 million dollars you know, to everybody, five buck increments. So, yeah, listen, yeah, to 180 I, million people. I'll get my five bucks just for the, for the point. Yeah. It's, a, it's all about the point. You know, uh, you're not getting one over on me, it's big chicken. My whole life has been flipped upside down from comes. something I I learned four days ago, and we've we've talked about this off the podcast, I think, but it is just so upsetting to me. All right, and JT, I think we picture and and everybody at home and everybody at home. Imagine, yeah, I'll send this picture to you. Um, close your eyes and picture a red star. Uh, okay. Which one of these do you see? What's Wait, I don't get it. None of those other ones are red. No, but which Wait, one did which you, one see, do in you your see in your mind? Bottom right. Bottom right. So you saw a red star. So you so you so, so he sees a red star. So two percent supposedly of people on Earth have something called aph- aphantasia. Which means they have the inability to to process and picture things in their mind, which both me and Antonio have. We see number one. We don't see anything. I can't. Like if I, I close my eyes, it. it is just TV static, black. Can't do it. All right, I, I'm confused. I don't actually see it, but I can like sort of see it with my mind. I'm really confused what you're saying. Some people, some people, supposedly the majority of people, when they close their eyes. They can literally see that red star right there in their head. I think you're like, I don't know, because again, if you guys both have the infantasia thing, I think you're misunderstanding it. Like when you when I'm picturing it, I don't like see it with my eyes. I can like see it with my mind. Yeah, your third eye. You don't you don't I'm not like close my eyes and I can see it right here in front of me with my eyes. Well, with my mind. Well, I can picture well, it. Well, so supposedly some people literally close their eyes, boom, I don't it's think right so. there. That, I think that's you're what, misunderstanding. That's what, they, that's what they said. This and, and, and we have we have friends that say that that's what they see. But why would someone see like a gray star instead? Well, because it's like it's this. The, the whole point is that there are like different levels of this, and so some people will just kind of see like the outline of a star, and they can't fully attribute like colors and things to it, but they can still, when they close their eyes, see something. But like, okay, so like here's my point. Even when I'm my eyes are open, mm-hmm. I can still picture it and see it. But it's like, again, I'm not using my eyes because like, my eyes are open. I don't see it here on Antonio's forehead. Right, right. No, the point is you don't have to close your eyes to activate this power. It's just <laughs> if you can do it at all in general. Okay. Doesn't Robert 
Well, or you, no, re- doesn't you would you would close your you have to close your eyes to see. No, the that's why I just said you don't. Well, you have to close your you have to not clo- to picture, but but the whole point is this this is this is specifically when you close your eyes. Like, do you see anything? I don't. Uh, I don't either way. Uh, you're 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 making it more confusing. I don't. I think you might be misunderstanding. Again, I'm when I close you. my eyes, I don't see anything with my eyes. Well, that's that's that that according. So we're all part of the two percent. No, Danny, according, it's, it's picturing according, it with your mind. That's not no, what no, they no, mean. No, 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 no. Accor- no, you're not a psychologist. I absolutely according this, according he's got to his doctorate. According to first of all, PhD. Uh, to people that I know, and also the people that. The Aphantasia subreddit. Uh, <laughs> Danny, this Danny is, joined a club. Uh oh. This is Anything this research. is the, 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 people do people firsthand say that they close their eyes and no. see something. Oh, we all happen to be part of the two percent here. You that know what the is, odds of that, that are? is that is that is true. We have that a, is no. true. We do have You're a misunderstanding. We do have a statistically abnormal group a lot of the time. That is that, that is a fact. That is that is true. But I'm just saying, that I can I know what you, I know what you mean. People people say that they can maybe maybe the two percent statistics wrong. People say that they can see things. I mean, put it, put in put in the comments below if you can close your eyes and see something. D- let me know if you can see it with your <laughs> eyes. If you can actually see it, like you can see it, it, like like you close your eyes, can you see anything? There's gonna be just a like f- my point is like I can if my eyes open, I can picture it and see a red star. You're 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 talking about something else. This is not how the, could I be is, talking about something? This else? is this is specific specifically about closing your eyes. That's the whole point of this. And 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 it, and, it, and, it, and it makes a lot of sense. A lot of a lot a lot a lot of people in a lot of people say, oh, this this is why I don't know how to meditate is because a lot of meditations they say picture yourself here, and picture yourself this, picture a cube, and fucking put all your problems into it. People, pe- cr- people, people crush. are literally seeing these things. Danny, the amount of times that you have been wrong on this podcast is that number is astronomical. Well, I disagree. That means I can we, disagree. That means we beat statistics am, on this podcast am, every day. I, am, I agree. I am saying that that anecdotally, we know people who see things, and I'm saying anecdotally, we have comments saying how many times you've been wrong. That's true, but 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 this is gaslighting. Co- yeah, causation. This, is, this, is, this, this is gaslighting. The, the amount of times I've been wrong does has no bearing on this conversation right now because. I have been fretting over this for the past five days. It's not how it's and, not, and, 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 and I've looked weeks. up and, I, and, I, and I've looked up everything that I can. I'm telling you again, regardless of whether the percentages are off, people are seeing things. They are. <laughs> it's not. They no, are. It's, it's not. It's not how many times you're wrong. It's how confident you are when you are wrong. You told me the other day that the capital of Texas is San Antonio. Is it's it, not. Is it not? No. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's Austin. <laughs> Really? I have to look it up after because I can't trust anything you say, Danny. I <laughs> thought it was I really. <laughs> yes, he said it was Austin, <laughs> and you corrected me. You convinced him. No. I could have sworn it was San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. That's a, really? This is a bad look. Well, the thing is, well, again, he couldn't picture it in his mind. He couldn't picture the I map. I couldn't picture it in my mind. It is. It is Austin. It is Austin. <laughs> but that's besides the point. <laughs> A, a, a lot of a lot of a lot I of holding that one. In. A lot of a lot of state capitals are weird state. It's like how the, the capital of Florida is Tallahassee. That doesn't make sense. That's true. I mean, why does it make just because what the well, fuck you, is you Tallahassee? Would, you would think, you would no think Miami, Orlando. But uh, why? Because you've been there. No, you because like it? it's the best city. It's just like how New York's is Albany. Miami's the best yeah. city. Yeah. Who gives a shit about Albany? That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, but you can't give us the capital and the city. People would just complain. It, that's what it the the, the, oh, cap, the capital of a thing should be like where the center of it all. That's why like the capital of the yeah, country, all the capitals were set like hun, like 150, I, 200 years ago when like Albany was popping back then. I I, I understand that, but they uh, should change the capital. But they though. should change it. I mean that people would just also. I'm thinking, do, I'm thinking of a radical new plan to merge the Dakotas and bring in Puerto Rico. So we so don't have to, we change, don't have the to flag. change the flag. What about North and South Carolina? Uh, we can merge those two and bring in Washington D.C. into statehood. Oh, you want to? You, you don't want? You don't want clones? It's so small though, Washington D.C. It is. It is very small, but it is. But it is bigger. It, it is bigger population wise than some states. And I mean, it's oh, just yeah, definitely. It's just a. It's just a matter for me of it's. They literally pay taxes. I mean, quite literally, it's taxation without representation. That's a good. That's a fair point. I've been trying to be like Pablo Picasso more recently. Because uh, I because no no <laughs> oh it's Van Gogh <laughs> fuck that's Van Gogh they actually just found a new Van Gogh painting um in the desert like where some guy you... had it and huh. they, he didn't know it was a Van Gogh uh, either, either way <laughs> he's like this looks really nice in my living room <laughs> yeah, it's like, and someone walks in and be like what, <laughs> basically, we get what is that signature at the bottom <laughs> Van Gogh <laughs> basically but uh 
I, I, I've read this before, but I read it recently that uh, Picasso used to have a gun with blanks in it, and anytime someone would come into his studio and he'd ask what the meaning was, he'd shoot at them. <laughs> yeah, I read, heard that too. <laughs> Which is just a baller move. But I, I just love that. The idea of shooting people with blanks, very funny. Yeah. It's an easy way for a guy who hates you to set you up to put you away for a while. To set you up to put like you Like, imagine if I didn't like you and I knew that every time someone disagreed with you, you shot at them with blanks. And I just went in and be like, you know Replace what? No, your bullets. Not a blank today. Ooh, and then yeah. I send in someone I didn't like. Also, two birds, one stone. I'm Picasso now. Well, that's how Bruce Lee's son died. He, he, uh, there was, they, they, were, they were using a prop gun. And like the the round before was a real round and misfired, and it got stuck in the chamber. And then they were using blanks, and somebody shot him. He was filming the crow, and somebody shot him in the chest, and the that propelled the the the, the bullet that was still in the chamber and murdered him. I'm just full of fun. I heard facts a totally today. different story. I thought it was just wh- which ma- didn't a magician die from a blank too? Don't know about that. No. No. I'm sure it happened. I thought I don't it was know just it straight is. up. I thought that's why. Da- Someone, someone famous. I thought that's why blanks were so dangerous because someone straight up did die from yeah, a blank. I, I thought well, Bruce Lee I, I died from that a blank. From Bruce Lee too, but maybe Danny's story is right. I heard that he like. I, I heard they weren't even filming at the time. He just like maybe it's someone else just put it to their head as a joke with blanks in it and fired. But like a blank will still hurt point blank in it. Yeah, that that that, that would that be way worse. Happened, but it is a misconception that he died from blank. He didn't actually die from the blank. Someone shot Fair. him. Yeah, man got shot. But yeah, magicians. I mean, if you if you're firing a blank see. and but there's a real bullet in the chamber, it's just not a blank. That's just yeah, a that's bullet. A, that's, that's a little separate. Yeah, no, the, but you 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 can also if you put a blank to your head, the shock wave can cause like like pieces of your skull to splinter uh, and kill you. Uh, that's not super. No, chill. no, no. I thought I didn't think that's it either. I thought in a blank stuff still does come out. Listen, I just re- I read this very recently. <laughs> I mean, now, now, Danny, now, you're now, always now wrong every, on this podcast. Now everything I, I say <laughs> is wrong in on contention. This but I'm telling you, the movie blanks also I think have a lot more gunpowder because they because like a real gun doesn't really produce that much of a muzzle flash. But in a movie, you want big. Pow, pow. Yeah, That's yeah. True. Big, so the big, blanks have a lot more. Big pow pow. Yeah, David Blaine truly did get shot in the face, dude, with a. Uh, a bullet, dude. Why? S- search. She's a fucking crazy search person. David, like on purpose. No, yes. Yeah, yeah. He put like, it's fucking psychotic. Search. Um, David. Pl- David Blaine shoots himself in the mouth. Just, just search it up. It's he, really fucking cool. He put. He, he no, no, like this, dude. He put a. It was a rifle. He put a glass, like a glass bullet catcher, in his mouth, like this big, this big, and a rifle ten feet away, and he lined it up with a laser. Pulled the trigger and got shot straight in the mouth. Yeah, he that. also legally had to be the one to pull the trigger, or else so like a so string. because yeah. if someone killed him by accident, it would be murder. Yeah, dude, it is psychotic. He even said like once it he's alive, obviously, but once it hit it, he thought he was dead. He thought yeah, he, it, he thought it, it was over. It's it, it's the end of one of his specials, and it's very sad. Like his wife's like, why? Why are <laughs> why, you doing why, this? David? Why? Too. <laughs> why, David? <laughs> but no, it's fucking cool as shit. David Blaine is cool as shit. Not a magician. Love David Blaine. Not a magician, just a stunt, stunt performer. Man, really. Stunt performer, yeah. Still confused about the dice thing on Rogan, but that's that's a that's a side note. Yeah, love really. David Blaine. Yeah. That's a side note. I think we're good here, he, by he the way. He claims <laughs> that he's he's just a lucky guy with the dice thing. Like, it, I just I lucky. mean, don't you think it's God damn it, now you caught me on this spread. Don't you think it's possible that someone could be just a little magical? No. Just a tiny bit. I think someone could be maybe a little Sometimes it really feels like luck is a real thing. Like so, like someone I know is a really lucky person, and someone I know is just gets the shit end of the stick every time. So doesn't that count in what I'm saying a little bit? Maybe. If you believe in that? I mean, again, any scientist or mathematician would chalk it up. That's just the way probability works. It's going to lean, skew this way, that way sometimes. But it's like, man, it's just, every time? it seems like he's lucky. It's like every time? I don't know. Yeah. It's also interesting the way that, like, it's also part of partially demeanor. Like the way that lucky people lose is very interesting. They just like shake it off. And then when they win, they're like, oh, see, I see, I did it. I told you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and then someone who loses a lot, like, you know, they they take a loss much harder. Yeah. And when they win, they're like, oh, yeah. They're when, they, when they lose, no, they're like, this always it. happens to me. Yeah, yeah, but wouldn't the person, but then when they win, wouldn't they be over, like, they, they no, they're it? probably just like, finally. Yeah, it's, yeah, like it's, this didn't even. Win, I didn't even win back all the shit I lost. This yeah. sucks. You know? Yeah, like part part of it definitely is demeanor. I think demeanor is luck. 
it's kind of like a it's like a for, it's like a fortune teller you know it's like yeah you shoot out you shoot out things does this is there somebody in your life who passed away I recently how is this I definitely don't believe in that how is this and if, and if be, 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 because it's all they're guessing and then and, and then when they are right it's about it's about demeanor and attitude and that's when they're like oh, of course I, I knew it I knew it like they, like like it's it's all a sham. They're just guessing until really something is. is right. Yeah, I believe in the and, fortune and then, teller, but then, he's, he's contributing then, that to the luck thing. Like, well, how no, is that the no, same? No, no, no. I'm 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 contributing it to the demeanor of a person can can make you think. Oh my God, they actually were lucky and guessed it, or they're magical and guessed it right, even though that's not what it is. It's strategic guessing, and then oh. Well, yeah, I, all right, I That's see what, what I'm saying. As you're saying, or it could just be like if you're not really close friends with the person, they only tell you about the wins and you never hear about the losses, right? And then it's like, oh, wow, this guy's just constant winning. That's one of so, so the, the point is, it's I all, guess that's the same thing. It's all about it's all about your attitude, your demeanor, and the way you carry yourself. That's how you be lucky. That's how you be lucky. Make your own luck, people. Make your own luck. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps, which is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good message to end it on, I think. Yes. All right, guys. Uh, JT, tell me where to find you. Let's go around. Find me on Instagram at JT Holden 97 You can find me at Danny is watching on Instagram and TikTok. And you can also find me being lucky in the casino. That's just Get lucky. lucky. That, that's not oh. oh. Hey, oh, I, 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 I have luck. I have luck. I have demeanor. See? You can, you can find I'm the luckiest me. guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find me at Ant. Prisco. Can't forget to follow. The Picky Boys Podcast. Like, share, subscribe, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Peace, guys.